Knowing your numbers can make or break your plumbing business, and there's no exception when it comes to your P&L. If you haven't looked at your P&L, or maybe don't know what it is or how to read it, then this video is for you. This may not be the most exciting topic in the world, but there's a way to set up your P&L to give you valuable insight into your business. That way you know where all your money is going, how much money you're making or not making, and where to make adjustments. So let's dive right into your P&L. Now, April 2021 was not a very good month for Prospector Plumbing and Heating, and I'm gonna show you why I didn't even realize what was going on and why it took me so long to fix it. And if I would have done something differently on here, then I would have been able to adjust my business and been more profitable much sooner. And this is a mistake that I see a lot of plumbing business owners make. Okay, so starting right at the top of your P&L, you've got your income, your total income, okay? So everybody that paid you over the month, that number is gonna come up right here. So for us, it was $81,523, okay? And then out of that, you're gonna take out your cost of goods sold, okay? And so for you guys, that needs to be your job supplies, okay? So any money you spent on materials between in the month of April, right? In this instance, needs to go into here in job supplies. So we spent $51,000 on job supplies in April. And then we also paid fringe benefits to the union. My guys are union, so we have to pay fringe benefits. And those came to a total of $6,000. Now, what we're missing out of here is the labor that we paid to fulfill in the jobs that we did in April, okay? So you wanna make sure and get in here the labor, the benefits for the labor, and the job supplies for the whole month. Whatever you spent that month needs to be up here. And what you're looking for is a gross profit of 50%, okay? That would be a healthy plumbing company at 50%. That would mean you build out 400,000 in total income, and you spent 100,000 on labor and 100,000 on materials for a gross profit of 200,000. That would be a healthy gross profit. But you can see here, because I forgot to put my plumber labor in, I thought I was at 50% gross profit. So I didn't really know where to look when I didn't hit my profit margins that month. And if you scroll down, you can see my wages of 32,000. And probably out of that, my plumber labor was probably $25,000. That would have put me at a 0% gross profit margin, okay? And I would have known right away, had I had my labor up here, I would have said, dang, I didn't make any gross profit, which means I either didn't charge enough for my materials or I didn't charge enough for my labor, okay? So then you can go back to your pricing and say, where am I wrong? I know it's either my labor or I didn't, it's either my labor, I didn't do enough work, or I didn't charge enough for my materials. I bought more materials than what I charged for. Um, I didn't accurately calculate my labor costs. Um, I didn't accurately calculate how many hours we were actually gonna bill out that month, right? So you guys don't bill out all of your hours. You probably only bill out 50 to 60% of your time. So all of that needs to be accounted for, and if it is, your gross profit margin should be 50%, okay? So everything else under that is all the ex other expenses in your business, all your advertising, all your truck expenses, your repairs, your gas, your computers, your internet, processing fees, all that stuff, okay? And you can see all of that stuff comes out. These are really good numbers to then take and go put in a pricing calculator to make sure you're priced right, okay? So when you come in here every month, you wanna look at your gross profit. Good, we're at 50%. Um, and then go down and check all your expenses, okay? And make sure that you have all these expenses accounted for in your hourly rate. Because a lot of guys miss expenses when they're doing their hourly rate. Okay, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down and basically what it does is it takes your gross profit and then it starts subtracting all of your expenses, okay? So it'll subtract your auto and truck expense, your interest expenses, your legal and professional services, your payroll expenses, your repairs and maintenance. So it'll subtract all of that and give you a net operating income. And you can see here for the month of April in 2021, 
we were negative $48,000. So we actually lost $48,000 because I hadn't yet priced my plumbing business correctly to actually make money, okay? So hopefully you guys would get down here and this number would be in the positive. And what you would wanna look for is at least a 20% net profit, okay? And if you're not hitting 20% net profit, you've got two things going on. Either you, your gross profit is way off, right? Your gross margin, you're not hitting, um, or you have way too much overhead. Well, there's really three. So you have too much overhead or you're not charging enough, okay? So that's how you come in here and you read your profit and loss statement. I would recommend you come in here once a month, get this from your bookkeeper, and then just come in here and check. Okay, I had this much income. Does that match up with my, my CRM? Yes, it's really close, okay? I had this much cost of goods sold. How's my gross profit? Is it 50%? Yes, okay. Let me just go over these expenses and compare them to what I've got written in my pricing calculator. Everybody should have a pricing calculator, by the way. I go, okay, did I actually account for all of these things in my pricing calculator? Yes, sweet, okay, or no. Okay, I need to go adjust my pricing calculator, right? And then scroll all the way to the bottom and go, okay, my net income. Did I hit 20% profit margin on my work that I did? So we did 80,000 in sales. If I was to hit 20% profit margin, I should have made $20,000. Instead, I lost $50,000, okay? And it basically boils down to, we weren't charging enough. I didn't account for all of these expenses in my hourly rate, okay? So that's how to come in here, come look at it. If something is off, the, the most important part is to ask yourself, why? Why is this off? And then go find the answer, figure out how to fix it, and then fix it and then move on, okay? And that's your job as a business owner is to find problems, make sure you're being profitable and fix things, okay? And if you can't figure out how to fix it, then go get some help. Go hire a business coach, reach out, get some help on what's going on. You gotta figure it out as a business owner. So there's how to look at your P&L and decide Okay, am I charging enough for my labor? Am I accounting for all my materials? Am I hitting my gross profit margins? And am I hitting my net profit margins at the end of the month? And you need to look at these every single month. And that is it guys, thanks for watching. Go make some money.